Hello and welcome friends. Today I have for you an interesting set from Pelican. It came in this metallic silverish um, case. It is a set formed from a fountain pen and a ballpoint pen. I believe that this set was made in the 1990s. It's not a high-end uh, set. I think it was meant for the student market. They are made from plastic, but they have those metal elements. The fountain pen at the back of the barrel and the top of the cap and the ballpoint pen at the top of the cap. I will start with my uh, personal favorite. <laughs> of course, it is the fountain pen and not the ballpoint pen. And we will start with the cap. So you can see that the cap is made from the same plastic as the barrel. It has this uh, beautiful uh, silverish tone to it, a matte silver. On the cap, we have written Pelican, uh, and it's not imprinted, it's just simply painted. So, Pelican, we have the logo of the Pelican with the two cheeks, and again, Pelican and the logo. We have an interesting clip. It is a um, steel, uh, steel clip, I believe, sterling steel clip. It is, uh, like you see, prone to imprints. It's a fingerprint magnet, but it has a nice contrast with the mate silver of the cap. You can see at the end we have Germany, so no West Germany. So it means that this is a model from 1991, 1992 or sooner. And the end of the cap, you can see it has this metal element, also a shiny element. I already told you that the barrel ends in the same of, uh, interesting metallic part. The cap is uh, a screw on cap, so it unscrews like this. It's an interesting feature for a low-end fountain pen because they usually are friction fit. So it's a nice touch, this um, unscrew. It reveals this beautiful black plastic grip section and it's, I love the fact that it's not straight but it's um, slightly concave here so you can hold it quite well in your hand and it ends with this beautiful beautiful steel nib it's not a plain steel nib you can see it's uh, highly decorated it has also the Pelican logo and I love the fact that they write the size of the nib M. In the back we have a quite plain looking feed. It's a simple feed. And we unscrew the piston, uh, sorry, we unscrew the barrel and we can see that and we can see that we have a cartridge or an ink converter filling system. So it is quite, quite a practical fountain pen. And as you may know, the Pelican ink cartridges and ink converters are international size. So 
you can use an international size cartridge with this fountain pen. Next, I will um, take a look at the ballpoint pen. It has the same It has the same drone um, mark elements from Pelican. It has the same interesting clip. You can see if you push it on this end, um, it um, works. The same Germany imprint on the clip and the same. Um, metal part at the end so it's quite simple when you want when you want to write with it you simply push here and you can see and when you start uh, stop using it you simply push here Let's open it because I want to show you that um, it uses this type of um, reserve. It's a Pelican reserve for documents 337M made in Germany. And this is the other part. Okay, let's put it back together. It has also a spring in this uh, part. And let's see. Yes, it works. Ah, I want to see if uh, it writes after all these years. Yes, it still writes. <laughs> Unbelievable. Ah, smooth, smooth writer but um, this is a fountain pen channel so we will focus our, our attention on the fountain pen uh, before the writing sample I will take some um, writing instruments and um, make a comparison between them just wait I prepared for you some fountain pens. This is a Diplomat fountain pen, also from the 1990s. A Parker Sonnet Monochrome from 2007. A Contemporary Waterman Graduate Chrome. This is still in production. And a nice uh, set from um, a fashion designer from Pierre Cardin we have the fountain pen and the ballpoint yes so I want to show them to you side by side of course you must bear in mind that the Pelican is a low entry fountain pen, but it still holds on the looks with other more expensive line of fountain pens. I will leave uh, the measurements, but only for the fountain pen of the Pelican. And next we will have the writing sample. Welcome back to the writing sample. I will use an international cartilage. I make sure that is firmly attached to the fountain pen. As always, you know the the drill. I must allow the ink to reach the section of the grip and um, of the nib. Let's see. Whoa good good flow so i didn't uh, i hadn't um, pushed it 
it worked just fine I'm impressed okay you know even though it is a um, low fountain pen I don't want to post it because I'm sure that in time it will uh, leave uh, scratches on the barrel okay now let's uh, see how this uh, beautiful beautiful pen writes so this is a parker uh, oh no a parker but a pelican a pelican set from the 1990s it writes like a, a dream is a smooth writer i'm impressed with this still nib beautiful beautiful uh, right here uh, yes and talking about um, uh, the steel nib it's an m nib m for medium whoa it uh, i'm uh, blown <laughs> by it it is um, let's see of course it is um, it is not a flex nib but unbelievable smoothness yes you have to to try it beautiful beautiful um, flow of the ink and just for <laughs> a comparison uh, this isn't a fair comparison let's look at the ball at the simple ball point so this is a pelican he's smooth but not like the fountain pens no not a chance uh, i really touch my fountain pen because uh, uh, it uh, really flows look at the flow my god it's so uh, it's unbelievable I hope you've enjoyed the review with this beautiful, beautiful set. I'm sure you can find one on eBay at uh, quite a reasonable, a reasonable price. And you must try this steel nib, this beautiful, beautiful steel nib from um, Pelican. And uh, tell me what you think about it. Till then, I wish you to have a nice day. And thank you for watching this review. Bye-bye.